Welcome to UpRev Training Part 9. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an Excel spreadsheet calculator that I'm providing in the training course that I've just added that's going to allow you to figure out your K multiplier value based on a couple different factors, as well as a scaling value that you can scale out your cranking injector tables based on what kind of injector size you're running. Um, it's going to make things much, much easier. Previous to this in the training course, we were going in and I showed you all the formulas that were coming up on screen. You'd have to go in and run all the numbers. This is going to eliminate that. You can simply enter in a few variables. It'll go in and spit out the correct decay multiplier value. That'll get you very close and get you up and running very quickly on your application with UpRev. Without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check out using our Excel calculator. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Excel spreadsheet calculator that I'm providing for UpRev tuning software suite. This is going to allow us to figure out exactly what our K multiplier value should be at based on a whole bunch of different parameters. So things like our injector changes or math housing size change or what kind of ethanol content we have in our fuel system all can affect what the K multiplier value should be at. And previous in our training course, I gave you the formulas out of a go in and manually calculate it, which is going to be a little bit more cumbersome than it needs to be. So I've streamlined the process and I've created this Excel spreadsheet calculator that's going to make things much, much easier in getting your vehicle up and running using UpRev. So let's jump in here and take a look at how to use it and talk about a couple things. Uh, so let's jump in here. I have my calculator open. This is going to be available for download right into our course library. So when you go in, uh, take a look, you'll find it's going to be probably the very first thing you see that's going to be able to, uh, you'll actually be able to click on it. It'll have a, it'll be a zip file and it'll have a, a kilobyte size by it. So you just click on it. It'll download it right off of the website. Uh, nothing else is needed and you'll be able to start to work with this. So let's go in here and take a look at how this is going to work. So on the left hand side, we have some very simple variables that we have to account for, all of which will affect our K multiplier value. So if we take a look here, we find our stock fuel injector size. Now, what I have in here right now is the default. This is going to be a stock injector size roughly of a 370Z with an HR motor. So we can see here at 380 cc per minute. If we look or go down here a little bit further, we're going to find we have our K fuel multiplier stock. This is the stock value that you need to actually go into your, uh, your calibration file, uh, your ROM file, and copy that into our spreadsheet. So let's do that right now. So we're going to assume that we're dealing with a 370Z file, that we have 380cc injector stock, and we need to go update our K multiplier value. That's going to be labeled here as a stock value. So if I move in here to fuel, and we go down here to K multiplier, we're going to find our value here is going to be uh, 26,806. So we're going to copy this, and we're going to move back into our calculator, and we're going to go and paste it. So we've pasted it. So we can see that's going to be updating it. Now, Looking at the calculator, we have a whole bunch of other parameters or variables to deal with. So we have aftermarket injector size. We can see that's going to be accounting for if we're changing the injectors uh, from stock, what that flow rate size is going to be, which will affect our K multiplier. We have ethanol content. That's going to be from 0 to 100% ethanol content. And we don't have flex fuel control in our UpRev software tuning suite yet. I think that's going to be a future release. Uh, that's going to be coming out in the next probably year, but for right now we do not. So if we want to tune on an ethanol-based fuel, we have to go in and have our ethanol content here uh, being represented, which will affect the K multiplier because it's a global scaler. So as our ethanol content changes, it changes what we need for fuel at idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle equally, which is what the K multiplier, it's essentially an overall fuel trim. So the ethanol content will affect the K multiplier value. The MAF housing size change, so not changing the actual mass airflow sensor from a stock to a PMAS or a GT MAF that UpRev sells, but this is going to be actually changing the housing size. So we can see in this particular example, our MAF stock ID for a 370Z is 2.76 inches internal diameter. And then we'll find here the new MAF ID. We'd have to go figure out what that's going to be. We can account for that there. That will allow us to automatically compensate for the difference in our MAF housing sizes into our K multiplier. Now, alternatively to this, you could go into your MAF, uh, your MAF calibration tables and actually scale them out there, but you can also handle it into your K multiplier, which is also oftentimes much easier than trying to rescale your MAF calibration tables. So let's go in here and just run some numbers and see how this is going to work. So first things first, if we go up here to our aftermarket injector size, let's just assume we're going from our stock injector size of 380, and we're going to go up to something like 1,000 cc. We're going to go here and type in 1,000 cc. Now, a couple things are going to change. When I type that in and hit enter, we're going to find our new K fuel multiplier is going to be found here as uh, 10,186. 
This is the value that we would simply copy here, and we would go right back into our file, and we would move into that parameter right here, and we'd paste that as our new value. So that's gonna be the new updated value that we would work with. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.